Today we're going to be taking a look at a unique first release from MMI Watches that's an update on their first release ever diver that came out five years ago, featured it on the channel way back then. The new watch is the Cuddlecron and it is available in bronze and steel. I have one of each to show you here today. Big thanks to MMI for lending these in for a little test drive. Really appreciate it, but let's get to it and check out the watches. All right, now these are coming out by way of a Kickstarter campaign that's probably started by the time this video comes out. These showed up a little later than expected, but putting in some OT to get this video out as quick as possible. They're going to be available in a few different colors in both the bronze and steel, including some fully loomed dials, which this yellow is one of those. We'll get to the measurements here soon, but the big difference between these and their original diver is the case size and thickness. The previous model was pretty massive at 46 millimeters when it comes to the case uh, size, where this one is around 42. It still isn't small by any means, but it's a nice wearing watch. Of the two, my favorite is the bronze. I find blue and bronze always looks good, and this dial has this really nice metallic finish that goes great against the bronze. A couple unique things happening with the watch and one is the date display which they call the roto date. Similar to a pointer date but where the pointer is under the dial and shows up through these small cutouts. For me it's tough to read although the yellow dial model seems to stand out quite a bit more. Even with the date complication like that, the dial is still pretty clean with only print work being the logo up at the 12 and automatic printed down at the 6 o'clock. The markers are applied and we have an easy to read handset with the orange second hand that matches the date pointer color. The loom on the bronze is super solid. Love a fully loomed bezel like that too. The loom is grade X1 BGW9, and there's zero complaints with it. Even get a little loom on the date there. The fully loomed yellow dial is no slouch at all either. If you like a fully loomed dial, this is a good one. And as a bonus, the crown is also loomed with the company logo, which is kind of a fun thing too. The bezel is a 120 click bezel, and the action is very good. I like the sound, the feel, and grip isn't a problem at all. The insert is ceramic, and depending on the model, some are color match to the dial and some have the contrasting black insert. Other than the date, the other unique thing with the watch is how they've tucked the crown into the corner of the case. Pretty cool idea and gives it a really tidy look. It's still fairly easy to get a hold of. Just unscrew it here. Quite a smooth winding action. The movement is the Miyota 9015, so high beat movement beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour with a power reserve of approximately 42 hours. The case is brushed with a polished edge around the entire top of the case. The case back is screwed to the case at the four corners and has a very detailed oil pressed image of a cuttlefish they say that adds about a millimeter to the case thickness versus an etched image but i think it's totally worth it now one thing that helps with wearability and same goes for larger watches that have this like the seiko tuna for example is the lugless design the only thing with that though is versus the strap that drapes straight down the end links on the steel bracelet are partially fixed so it does extend out a little the bracelet that comes on the steel models is a flat h link bracelet nice light play with the faceted edges of the links they are shorter links so they have that flow that really conforms to the wrist the clasp is signed and also has an on-the-fly adjustment so overall it's a well-made bracelet and has a tooly style that works great with the watch. The leather on the bronze is a good look too. And with the fact that it does drape straight down at the lugs, it's even more comfortable on wrist. The strap also has signed matching hardware. 
Check out the Kickstarter campaign, though. There's a few stretch goals. So depending on how they do, there's the possibility of other straps coming with the watches, too. As far as size goes, the case comes in at a width of 42.1 millimeters and same measurement from top to bottom on the bracelet with the end links that comes out to 48.3 millimeters. Lug opening is 22 millimeters and the thickness is 12.9 millimeters. The crystal is sapphire with an anti-reflective coating and the water resistance is 150 meters. And here is the bronze on my seven and a quarter interest. And this one is a beauty. It's tooly, but good looking at the same time. Starting super early bird pricing will be 384 USD for the bronze with the full MSRP eventually being 549. For the steel, the super early bird pricing is 349 with a full MSRP of 499. If I missed anything, it's only because I'm trying to get this out as quick as I can, so you have the chance to get in at the lower prices. But any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer. Appreciate you taking a few minutes to stop by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.